Do you like books? Do you like reading? Are you literate? If your answer was yes or no to any of those questions, you've come to the right video. Because today we're talking about Book Talk. Book Talk has all your reading needs and is your one stop shop for great book recommendations. They have cookbooks, they have textbooks, they have. Take off your pants. What? I said, take them off. Jesus. Now damn sexy. I just wanted to talk about Harry Potter. Welcome back to the light side of the internet. It's 2024, people. New year, new uses, baby. Every single New Year's, I always make a couple of New Year's resolutions that inevitably I never start or just let peter out in a couple months. It's like a malicious, never-ending cycle for me. It's like the myth of Sisyphus, except instead of me pushing a rock up a hill year after year, it's me pushing my self-esteem down a cliff year after year. 2024 is no exception, and this year I made it my resolution to read at least one book every single week. So I needed some book recs, and instead of going to Google like any normal person would do to get book recommendations, I went to TikTok instead. Stupid. I've heard of book talk before, so being the sweet, innocent summer child that I was, emphasis on was, oh. that's where I thought I would start my search. Now mind you, I've only heard of book talk at this point. I thought it was a cool little TikTok community where people came together to kind of give book recommendations to each other. And I guess that's kind of what it is? What's going on? There's so much fun! If this isn't a sign to stop making New Year's resolutions, I don't know what is. For the uninitiated, Book Talk is basically the love child between Wattpad Smut and... Well, it's basically Wattpad Smut. Quick shout out to Simi who inspired this video with this banger of a movie. Go check out her channel if you haven't already. Mini editing right here. The rest of the video is about content that may contain some things about delicate subjects. So the rest of this video has sexual assault and violence trigger warnings. Also, this video is not meant to demean in any way anyone who actually does enjoy this type of content. It's 2024, guys. We're all freaks in our own ways. Anyways, enjoy! So from what I've seen, there are three main types of posts on Book Talk. Number one, Book Talk recommendations. This is where people recommend each other smut. Number two, book talk memes, where people make memes about book talk smut. And number three, my personal favorite, and what we're gonna focus on today in this video, are book talk excerpts, where people write out their favorite smutty scenes and share it online with the public for everyone to see. Don't you ever wear one? She asks. Always, he replies. She blinks at it in confusion until he presses his lips again. Oh, come on, man. Do I have to read this? I don't want to read this. Do I? I don't want to do this. I'm going to read this in the least sexy way I can, just so like I can actually get through this script. Always, he replies. She blinks at him in confusion until he presses his lips against her ear and says, but there's not a chance in hell I'm wearing one with you. Oh, <laughs> oh God. So for those of you who aren't familiar with book talk, this might seem like a lot, understandably so but trust me i purposely chose the most tame of all the tiktoks i could find to start us out with for those of you who are familiar with book talk is this is this romance is this what the young folk are into nowadays back in my day my fantasy was the back of a sears catalog now we're fantasizing about f boys who say i definitely always use protection i only don't when i'm with you because i love you Idiot. Also, why is the background of a guy putting a shirt on? The condom stays off, but the shirt? The shirt stays on. I actually found this shirt on the ground at a concert. So if one of you lost some extra large LCD sound system merch on New Year's, um... Thank you for your donation. So that excerpt was from a book called Ryan Rule, a reverse harem dark mafia romance. And it seems like mafia romances are a very popular niche within book talk. When your hot bodyguard is enjoying you and he accidentally answers a call, it's the head of the mafia on the line, his boss and your dad. He clamps a hand over your mouth and glares at you in warning. But it's too late, you're about to checkered flag. Gotcha. Busy, talk later, 
he groans before he throws the bone. Okay, I know that contextually, enjoying here is supposed to mean that they're boning each other. Okay, I know that. I know that. I know that. But wouldn't it be so much funnier if they meant enjoying in like purely the most platonic way possible? I'm gonna enjoy you. Enjoy your company. I can't wait to play with you all night long. Cause I brought some board games. Get ready to get hot and heavy. Cause I know you love your hot chocolate with some heavy cream. Are we gonna bang? Your father kills people for a living. I'm also just kind of confused on how one accidentally answers a phone. Like on an iPhone, I feel like it actually takes some amount of concentrated effort to answer a phone. So like, I'm confused. Were they doing the dirty on top of the phone? Were they doing the dirty with AirPods in? And how could they be doing the dirty when they could have just been playing Catan the entire time? I want answers. This next one is the shrimp from Shark Tales. When he's, when he's working you in his office while, while he's talking on the phone, but he, but he can feel you about to finish. Don't, don't you dare, he warns. But what is too late? Wraps your hair around his fist and he growls. Did you just finish what I told you not to, princess? <laughs> Love you. Bye. Love ya. <laughs> Why are so many people doing the dirty and squirty on the phone in this universe? If I was in this universe, I would never answer my phone. I don't even think I'd want to own a phone. Yo. Is that a jackhammer in the background? Oh, it is? Oh, but it's not the construction type? <laughs> uh, that, that's a good one, man. That's funny. Block my fucking number. Side note, um, it was extremely excruciating for me to do all this smutty roleplay to myself. So, uh, if you're still here and you're not subscribed yet, maybe subscribe? Alright, thank you. Back to the video. When she's a werewolf, but she doesn't know that or what fated mates are, and is living a blissful life with ignorance. Him, the alpha male, sitting next to her on a plane, and instantly felt she's his mate, but unsure how to tell her, so he kidnapped her instead. As if to drive home the point that book talk is basically Wattpad, we've got werewolves. Werewolf smut is such a prevalent topic in book talk that I could probably make a whole video about it on its own. And I probably will. There's werewolf weddings, werewolf human seduction, werewolf kidnappings, werewolf balls, not those kind, and smutty twilight knockoffs with werewolf and vampire crossovers. And all of these seem to have one single premise, which is finding one's fated mate. In fact, I actually found it almost impossible to find a single one of these types of TikToks without the words fate or mate in them. So I just find it highly unrealistic that this girl, who is a werewolf, doesn't know like the one thing she's supposed to know in werewolf society. That's like if a vampire hosting a dinner party for other vampires didn't know that vampires drank blood. <laughs> What's that smell? Garlic bread? What the? Are you trying to kill us? What, what's wrong? Are you allergic? We're all allergic to garlic. Also, why are you baking us bread in the first place? We drink blood. Wait, really? Yeah, it's, it's kind of like our thing. Like, it's our one thing. Like, the one thing you think of when you think of vampires is, is drinking blood. Oh, but... <laughs> Jeez, I thought that was just some sort of, like, inside joke. I didn't know he actually drank blood. That's... That's crazy. Uh, well, the closest thing I have is some steak, so... Is, is that okay? Okay, that's... That's close enough. It's still blood, so... Alright, good stuff. Here, catch. I hate you. Also, he didn't know how to tell her, so he kidnapped her. So he's shit at communication. I think we're really starting this relationship off on the Ron Paul. Are there divorce lawyers in werewolf society? Because this is attorneying into a toxic relationship. <laughs> and quite possibly a crime scene. <laughs> at some point, the creators of these TikToks decided that choosing smutty background photos, pasting in smutty book excerpts, and doing smutty animations was too much work for their otherwise preoccupied fingers. So as a time-saving method, they decided to paste entire chapters onto one single screen. Yeah, I'm not reading all that. I come to TikTok as a method of self-lobotomization, which is the exact opposite thing I'm trying to achieve when I'm reading. Also, this text is so small that they could have just pasted the nutritional facts of butter and I, I probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference. No way! 
Okay, if you're wondering why all the backgrounds consist of someone driving at night on a highway, I don't know. They all have backgrounds of someone driving at night on a highway. Like, do all these stories take place in a car? Or was a car just the most romantic place they could think of? Me personally, if I'm driving at night, the vibe is more Ryan Gosling in Blade Runner than Ryan Gosling in La La Land. We've been driving for eight hours. Are you sure we didn't miss the turn? Ray? What? Don't you notice how I get quiet when there's no one else around? No, I'm pretty sure you're just quiet because you don't want to admit that we missed a turn two hours ago. Okay, seriously, where even are we right now? Love is driving me a bit insane. Meredith, I swear to Christ. If you made us miss a turn, I am driving us back home. All right, I'm going to wrap it up there, guys. If you're still here, thank you so much for watching. I hope you all had a wonderful new year, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Okay,